Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to scan your Mac computer for malware and viruses and how to remove them. And we're going to use a couple free tools to do this. And so I will post a link down in the video description down in the notes to all the tools that we'll be using. For the purpose of this video, we're going with the free version of Avast and we're going to click on the free download, allow, and then we're going to run the download, double click on install, and then allow. And then we're going to continue through the installation. Now, once you get to this step, what you'll want to do is come up here to the top left corner and click on system settings and go to privacy and security, and then scroll down about almost to the bottom and just double check to see if there's a message here saying that a vast security was blocked. You will want to just hit allow. Now with the vast installed, we're just going to come up here to the top left and just double check to make sure it is up to date. This is very important because if it does not have the most recent update, Updates, it may fail to detect a threat and then once we've confirmed it is up to date we're going to click on virus scan and go to deep scan now this may take longer but this will also make sure that we don't miss anything so you just want to let it run till it's fully completed again it may take several hours depending on how much you have on your computer if it does find anything it will list them and give you the option to quarantine and remove them I will recommend if you are using a vast or an different free antivirus that you go ahead and remove it when you're finished. And so I'm going to click on Avast in the top left corner and go to uninstall and then continue. Another reason to uninstall free antivirus software is it just keeps the computer clean and doesn't add to the clutter and doesn't slow your computer down. Again, if you paid for an antivirus though, it's fine to keep it on there and monitoring your computer. The next free tool that we will use, again, link down in the notes down in the video description is Malwarebytes. Now it does say premium and it does have a premium option, but we're just going to use the free version. And so we're going to click on free download, allow, and then we're going to run the installer and then continue through the installation. And then we'll click on get started personal. When you get here, click on maybe later. And then you can see that I have the free version. Now, if this is your first time using Malwarebytes, it may default to the premium and just give you a trial period. To deactivate that, you just click on the gear up here in the top right. And then underneath my account, there will be an option to deactivate it. Also underneath general, make sure that PUPs are set to quarantine. And then when we close this, we're going to come up here to the top left and then just double check for updates again to make sure we've got the most recent malware definitions. And then you can click on close. And right here, there will be a scan option that you can initiate manually. And this will fully scan your computer. Let it run until it's fully completed. If it does find any results, it will allow you to remove and or quarantine them. Now, once you're done with Malwarebytes, same scenario, we don't wanna leave it installed to increase privacy and also make sure we're keeping the computer clean and keeping it optimized. And so you'll want to open up the Finder and go to Applications. And we have to uninstall it from here because it doesn't have a built-in uninstaller like Avast does. Come up here to the magnifying glass. You'll just type in Malwarebytes. You'll see it right there. Make sure to hit the plus sign and then just do name matches and then type in Malwarebytes again. Hit the plus sign again and then change this to system files. If you do not have system files listed here, you'll find it underneath other. Change it to are included and this will give you everything that you need to delete to uninstall it so that way you're fully uninstalling Malwarebytes. You just click and drag to select everything and then drag this all the way to the trash and then you'll want to make sure to open up the trash. Click the empty option and then empty trash and then click on the Apple icon in the top left and go to restart. After restart you'll see that Malwarebytes has been completely removed and at this point your computer should be pretty much clean and at this point you should be good and ready to go. I will point out that you can take it a step further and do a full deep clean of your Mac computer. It's a little more involved, overlaps a little bit with the steps we've already done, so you could skip those steps, but the results here will be much better. It will also optimize your Mac and make sure that it's running at its peak efficiency. I will link to this playlist. You can see all the additions, and this link will be down in the notes down in the video description. That is everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.